uh, we have awakened the giant. When I was running for office many years ago, mm -hmm. um, I did have people that were discriminatory, saying things like, well, I'm not going to vote for you just because you're a woman. And I thought to myself, well, do you ever say that about a man? Mm -hmm. The proudest moment in Congress was probably when I got an amendment into the National Defense Authorization Act that requires more accountability in the Uniform Code of Military Justice as it relates to sexual assault in the military. 20,000 men and women are sexually assaulted a year, and only 5,000 of them report because they're fearful that they're going to be ostracized and discharged. And then of those 5,000 that do report, only about 250 of them end up in punishments for the perpetrators. So there was not the kind of accountability necessary in the military. And when victims would say to me, I'm more likely to get injured by someone in the military than I am from the enemy, then we've got a problem. So we've created much more accountability and a, and a huge spotlight on that issue. I am carrying a number of bills this mm -hmm. year and we'll introduce many more. I'd, I'd really like to see us force the president to open the switchboard again so he can listen to his constituents. You know, he's not a king that can pull up the moat oh, yeah. and ignore all of his subjects, but he certainly thinks of himself as a king. I believe that we will take back the House and I think we're going to do it on, um, on the um, shoulders of all the Americans who are protesting in the streets. Uh, we have awakened the giant, the giant and the giantess. And I think that the president has already overreached to the point that um, you could make the case that impeachment proceedings are not outside the realm of possibility. Uh, we will you know, probably not engage on that level um, for a period of time, but literally, in less than a month as president, he has unwound important protections in our Constitution, or attempted to do so, mm -hmm. only to be stopped by the judiciary. How long do you think Trump is going to last before he gets impeached? I wouldn't be surprised if he is, impeachment proceedings are begun before the year is out. I also predict that he will not serve a four-year term, that he will re resign because the job is too difficult. Yeah. Um, what we have to fight for mm -hmm. is preventing the president from discriminating against um, communities in our state that have identified themselves as sanctuary cities. And I think that that will be an effective effort because, again, the president cannot impose on localities responsibilities and roles that are uh, restricted to the federal government. So immigration and naturalization services are those that are undertaken by the federal government. You cannot impose a requirement on uh, local police to do your job. Yeah. And you cannot penalize cities for being sanctuary in terms of all of the formulas that exist for funding. and. Uh, a court which would, would strike that down immediately. I would just like your viewers um, to know that um, one of my, my great mantras is success is never final and failure is never fatal. Mm -hmm. And Lowell is populated by a lot of superstars and among superstars from time to time, your star may not um, be as high as someone else's. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that you aren't um, a great talent and should pursue your dreams. Um, you're looking at a three-time loser. I lost for student body president at high school. Mm -hmm. I lost the first time I ran for Congress. And I lost in 2006 when I ran for lieutenant governor. What I have found in my life is that really losing is the first step to success. So don't be afraid to fail.